Okay, well, I thought I would just do a quick video here about this um, Yesu 8900. Um, I got a FTM 7250 and it had a white backlight and I thought that's really nice and I suddenly was not very keen on the uh, I don't know what is this an orange amber type uh, backlight in the uh, FT8900 here so I took this apart there 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 are some pictures there's one really bad video picture wise um, but uh, I figured I would just do a quick video on this here's the two LEDs right here they're th three millimeter LEDs and uh, I bought some three millimeter um, white LEDs so these are the ambers that are installed uh, factory so I figure I'll just replace these um, these may have a bit higher forward voltage so they may be a bit dimmer if you don't uh, just off the bat and um, you might have to change the uh, resistance values here as well um, where are they I think um, is this the right no this is the side here um, I think like this resistor here so I think maybe this one and this one uh, for one of them and uh, so I'll see how bright they are off the bat you might need some uh, these are probably a 402 resistors um, so I actually don't have any 0402s I have this some scrap stuff so I'll be maybe looking for some replacement values on some scrap board so anyways I'm gonna start to take this apart and I will uh, just kind of document the process here okay we got them out let's uh, check the try to measure the forward voltage if we can here 1.7 on this amber oh boy you can't even see that let me, let me cut the light out so you can maybe get the better idea of the uh, color here so we get the amber here 1.7 1.8 and then we have the, the white at uh, 2.6 uh, volts um, it is fairly brighter you know at that voltage so we'll see what we have and if we need to modify resistor values we will do so Okay, we have a preliminary test here. And that seems fairly bright. <laughs> I should have probably uh, checked the brightness of the amber uh, color beforehand. But um, I think I'm going to go ahead without changing any values and put it back together and uh, see how it looks with the display on. I should also add, if you're not familiar with with these types of displays and this type of equipment, do not attempt this. Um, you, you know, could easily probably uh, brick the head and have to buy a new one. Okay, well, it looks really, really good in person, actually. Yeah, it looks great in person and not too bad on camera, I guess, too. So I'm pretty happy. I'll put it back together and we'll get another shot, maybe. But this looks like a uh, major success story. All right, she's all back together. Let's turn it on. Wow, that balance is off. Let's adjust that a little bit. And it looks great in my eyes. Um, of course, you don't have to do white or clear. You can do blue or red or, you know, green or whatever you want. But uh, as I said, I got the um, FTM 7250. And it was a white display, and I thought, that looks great. And it uh, kind of made me do this. So anyways, I'm not going to go over everything required to, to take this thing apart. But they're basically, there are four screws in the back. You take those out. There's a ribbon cable that connects the two parts of the front head unit. And um, you pull the buttons off, 
and there are some uh, some basically nuts on these two lower ones that are pretty difficult to unthread if you don't have the right tool. I was able to get them out with a screwdriver, a little flathead, and um, kind of undo them, but you got to be careful. I did not do anything to the resistances. Um, the amber uh, resistors um, are the same that are used with these uh, white ones. So I didn't have to do anything. It seems perfectly bright to me, but if it seems a little dim to you, you may want to um, mess with the resistors. I don't think that's pos uh, necessary though. Um, let's go see how the um, dimming works. Although, of course, this is on camera. So there's one, it's going to just auto focus so or auto dim so um yeah it to my eye it looks it looks great all the dim dim modes work just fine so um it looks like uh these resistors will work just fine for white and if they're too bright you can of course dim dim stuff down but that's not the case so all right well hopefully uh this helped you and i'll catch you next time